pro. Yes, I get award for the longest commute for sure. Today. You do Australia. Australia. How's home? About 28 hours door to door. How, how, I thought I had a long commute from Washington. You beat me by many, many hours coming from <laughs> Australia. Good to have it's you true. here. Thanks for having me. A lot of people wondering this morning whether someone else is going to be packing their bags. That would be Rod Rosenstein. This is well, is anybody really surprised about this story coming out? I no. mean, after Woodward's broke and you you hear all about that, and then anonymous posting what what he did. Is anybody really surprised? That's what Donald Trump Jr. just tweeted last night. He said, shocked, absolutely shocked. Lee Carter, great to see you. Great to see you. Good morning. So the first dial you have for us is President Trump talking about uh, Judge Kavanaugh and the allegations against him and the delayed vote. Let's take a look at this sound. Credit when he said, now that being said, let her have her say. Yeah. The best thing that the board, Republicans pretty much have all been saying, let's hear what she has to say, let's hear what he has to say, and then we'll take a vote. It's almost exactly like they right. call the Democrats bluff on that, Grassley saying, let's hear from her, because you said you want to hear from her. Now, the president uh, in Las Vegas also went to something that's sort of bread and butter from the 2016 campaign watch. Midterms. And moving on to North Korea now, the president is not using the term little rocket man anymore. <laughs> At least I haven't heard him say it in a while. Uh, let's hear what he has to say about the progress that he's made with North Korea. On that one. Okay. All right, Lee Carter, thanks for your insight and analysis. Thanks for coming in. Thanks a lot. All right, meanwhile, an attorney for Judge Kavanaugh's accuser, we we're just talking about him, caught on tape as part of the resistance. Watch this. Our own Jillian Turner, live in Washington, where the clock is ticking. Jillian, good morning. Good morning, guys. The ball is now back in Christine Blasey Ford's court. Chairman Grassley writing in a middle of the night tweet last night five times now. We've granted extension for Dr. Ford. Dr. Ford's attorney reiterated last night her position that this deadline is arbitrary and its sole purpose is to bully Dr. Ford and her family during a time of crisis. Does that 